Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday so we're doing a mail call. Up first, got a box from... I know who this is from. So I've talked in some of my earlier videos about kind of where I source all of my models uh, from my collection. And uh, of course everybody knows about eBay and I get a lot of stuff from eBay. But uh, eBay, especially lately, has gone a little nutty um, with some of the pricing. Things have just got completely out of hand. And uh, so I've been looking for kind of some other venues or other avenues. And uh, Facebook's been a good one for me. And so I think uh, that this is a, uh, a couple models that I purchased from a Facebook it's listing. It's like a mocha Wesney. Yeah, so this is one of the, the older ones, um, and it's been, you know, kind of one of my goals lately to fill out some of the older parts of my collection. Um, and I want to shoot, I'm, I'm going to shoot an upcoming video uh, on this model. Um, so these are the last two pieces that I needed to complete every variation of the Muir Hill dumper. Um, so this box, it's a, uh, don't, don't throw any of that away yet. I wanna make sure we get all the bits and pieces out of it. Um, so this is an original box, and there's, looks like, yeah, there's one more flap in there. Um, so it's not in great shape, uh, as you can see. It's got a little tear on the front, and I think maybe that's what, what this, Piece is Let's see if I can get that yes so there is the little missing artwork piece on that front corner um, here's my two inner flaps looks like here's another little artwork corner piece um, and here is a little blue piece I think that blue is maybe from that end flap there so this one is really deteriorated it's not in great shape um, but I think all the bits and pieces are there to be able to restore it. Um, and as I said, these are the last two models that I needed. This is a first variation um, of the Muir Hill Dumper. And this is the, the model with the green painted wheels on it. Um, it is missing the driver, but I have a, uh, a replacement casting for that. Um, and this has the gold on the front. Um, and this is, this is one of the models that I didn't have yet. Um, and then this model, I'm super excited about. So uh, it's mixed opinions on whether or not you count this as an error um, because the driver in this case is facing backwards. Most of these models came from the factory with the driver facing the other direction. Um, so if you got one that was going backwards, you know, that was considered uh, unusual or an error. This one also has the, the gold uh, grill on the front as all the older models did. However, if you look at the box and you look at the artwork specifically on the box, the driver on the box is facing backwards or facing towards the dumper. So maybe this uh, configuration is actually the way that it should be. Um, so these are the last two I needed. I now have one of every single one of these models. Um, and I think I'll shoot a, a couple videos. I'll do one that's just on the Muir Hill dumpers, all the different variants, and then uh, definitely do a restoration on the box. So super, super excited to get that. And I think going through all my parts here, I think we've got all the little bits and pieces from that one. Um, so that was, a uh, was not a cheap model. Um, definitely paid up a little bit on it, uh, for having the original box and being one of the first five of the Matchbox series. Um, so super excited to get that one or those, those two, actually, I think I actually purchased this model with the box and then this model separately. Um, so great finds there. Up next. Got an envelope. This is from um, William R. King. William King. Let's see what we got in there. 
than that one. The number 13 wreck truck. All right. So this is a Moco Lesney, number 13, Bedford wreck truck. Um, and this is also part of that earlier models, uh, the, the metal wheels um, that I have been trying to fill out. So um, I paid $10 for this car. Um, and that included the shipping. And uh, the only thing that's missing on this is the rear hook. Um, and I know I can get those reproduction. And it's held in with a little pin with the uh, crimped end on it there. And I've, I've recently, I did a, a couple of restorations here um, in preparation for some videos that I've been dealing with these, uh, these crimped pins. And I've got a little different approach to how I'm doing them, and it seems to be working really well. So uh, I think that's a repair that I can actually tackle and probably make uh, quite easily. The other thing is, um, I have now, for this model, and another reason that I specifically wanted one of these earlier wreck trucks, I've got the, the variation, i got the newer copy of this with the black plastic wheels, but the reason I wanted one of these early video, uh, early, uh, wreck trucks is I'd like to shoot a video um, that has the original uh, Moco Lesney model, the Japanese knockoff uh, that I recently got, um, as well as my Hong Kong plastic models for this. So I want to do kind of a comparison with all three of those in one video. Um, so super excited to have this and it fills another hole in my early model parts of my collection. Um, and I think that's a pretty easy repair that we can do. Um, so I might do a real quick short video on that. I wouldn't uh, consider restoring this. You know, it's play worn for sure. It's got some nicks and some scratches and stuff, but this is such an early model um, and it's valuable to me just the way it is. So uh, I might fix that hook other than that, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it, just how it is. And then, up next, I believe that this is another Facebook purchase, if I recall correctly. Um, as I said, I've been looking for some other sources outside of eBay, and... Uh, there are a few groups on Facebook that are all Matchbox, uh, vintage Matchbox collectors and dealers. Um, there are also a few auction pages. In fact, uh, I'm getting ready for this afternoon uh, for an online auction that's done through uh, Facebook Live. And uh, really great guys. Um, they usually are representing some consignment uh, dealers and uh, the prices on those pages and those groups are significantly better um, than what you could ever hope to get on eBay. I think on eBay, everybody thinks whatever they've got is gold. And, uh, you know, models that um, I've purchased on there for 4 or $5 on the auction sites or on the Facebook Live group, um, you know, I turn around, I watch those things selling for $25 on eBay. So I think all of these came from the same dealer, so let me look here, what is this one, it looks old, it's the right size, yes, so in the continuation of my pursuit of older models, this is the uh, Vauxhall Victor, the number 45, um, I was interested in this one because it has silver plastic wheels uh, that have some issues, you can see this one looks like it's uh, maybe melted, I think, um, or it's had some reaction. Glass is rough, but I think maybe that could be polished out, I'm not sure. Um, there's not much of the original paint that's left, 
So this one's in really rough shape, but it is the first uh, Vauxhall Victor that I've got. Um, so this is going to go into my collection just how it is. And uh, at some point in the future, if I ever get a better model of this, I might consider restoring this one. Um, but I think I picked that one up for about $4. So this one, uh, this is the Comer Pickup MK8, I think. Made in England by Lesney. That's a uh, number 50. Um, paint is in okay shape. Uh, this is the brown. This is the more common variant of that color. Um, they made a couple that were two-tone, like a red and white. Um, and those seem to be a little bit harder to find, a little more desirable. But this is an early metal wheel model. Um, and in pretty good shape. And I don't have one of these yet. So again, this was filling a hole in the collection. really appreciate when, uh, when a seller, I think that's another difference between buying from eBay and buying from another collector or off of one of these collector groups. When you're buying these from someone who really loves and appreciates them, you really take the time to package them well. So this is a Radio Rentals. This is the TV service van um, or radio van. Um, I actually just posted the restoration video uh, for this. Um, and I restored the other variant, the Rent-A-Set piece. Um, but I wanted this one. It has, uh, has the original television sets in it. Um, paint is in remarkably good shape. Um, I wouldn't consider restoring this or doing anything to this. I would want to just leave it exactly how it is and enjoy it. Um, pretty decent shape. This one doesn't have paint on the bumpers which I was kind of curious about because all of the other copies of this that I have, the bumpers are painted. So I need to look this up in my book and see if that's just um, a variant or a, one of the options that is in this one. But it's got all three of the original televisions. And uh, I do actually have an original ladder that uh, I was able to pick up as part of a group of parts. Um, I don't yet have a uh, antenna for it, and if it's missing the antenna, I think I can live with that. But um, I do have a ladder for this model to help complete it out a little bit better. Um, and now that I have my TV, uh, the Rent-A-Set copies, um, I've got an original in-box, and I've got a restored one that I just finished and posted the videos of. Um, this is now kind of the other part of that collection. So I am still looking for one of these with a box, but this is a great uh, original condition piece. Um, and again, when I usually when I find a dealer that's got decent pricing on them, I'm gonna buy in bulk. Um, so I was able to get all these shipped together and save myself a little bit of money. It's like this one's missing the glass, maybe. Well, some of the older ones didn't have glass, so oh. the the pickup truck, that doesn't have glass. Mm -hmm. These are later models that have the glass, but this one is really hard to find. This is the uh, Citroen, um, number, DS number 19. Um, and this is actually, that's confusing because it's a Moco number 66. Um, these are getting pretty hard to find. And uh, it seems like every time I find one that's in pretty decent shape, the paint's good on it. Um, you know, everything else is, is nice. They tend to be in that $50, $60, $75 dollar range. And uh, I think I picked this one up for less than 10 bucks. Um, the uh, the really cool thing about this model is the, the wheels tucked under the back part there. Um, it's kind of a tail dragger, just, just a neat model. Um, again, it's a metal wheel. It's an earlier copy, and it's not one that I had in my collection yet, so. Um, it's not in great shape, but it fills a hole for now. And you know, again, maybe someday if I get a, a better copy of this model, this one maybe gets restored. Maybe not. You know, these these just tend to be so hard to find and so valuable how they are that uh, I might just keep it how it is. And then, oh yes, I am so excited about this one. So I have been looking for one of these for a really long time, and any of you that collect 
uh, know how hard these are to find in pretty decent shape, um, and you know how expensive they get. Um, I think I paid around, I think it was like 15 or $20 for this model. Um, and this came with the truck. It came with the original trailer. And uh, the only condition issue that it really had is this little piece right here was busted off. And if you look at the trailer, it has one loop that's intact and it's got one loop that is broken. So that was the condition issue on this model. Um, I'm not sure yet if that's something that I will attempt to fix or not. Um, but for a very hard to find and very desirable set that is usually quite expensive, um, I was really happy to get this piece and and to get all of it, to get the trailer and the truck. Look at the original decals on there. It's in really good shape. I'm super excited about this one. And then last but not least, we've got one of the number 23 Berkeley Cavalier Matchbox Lesney, uh, or Moco Lesney. This is, the, again, an earlier model with the metal wheels. I tend to kind of go in groups when I start looking for stuff where you can see all of these came from the same collection or the same seller. Um, and this was, you know, obviously all uh, kind of a group of their collection. This has a little bit of the original decal. It's a little scratch. This one is really heavily play worn. You can see the edges have got a little uh, dent, I think, in the back there. Um, all the top, all the surface around, really. Uh, really well loved, we'll put it that way. Um, I've got a couple copies of this. I didn't yet have one in this yellow green color. And uh, so even though it's it's pretty play worn, not in great shape, does have the original decal and it's a, it's a variant it's a color I didn't have yet. So, um, and again, all of these models here were super reasonably priced. Um, and so when I find somebody that's out there that's got good stuff, that's uh, got reasonable prices on it, I'm gonna clean them out. I'm gonna get every model that I can um, that, you know, fits in some part of my collection. So thanks so much for joining us this week for our mail call. Um, as always, if you enjoy the video, click the like button below. If you uh, wanna reach out to us, uh, drop a comment down in the comments section, I do read all of our comments, try to respond as many as I can. Um, and as always, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all of our future videos and when we post next week's Vintage Diecast Restoration.